Hello out there. This is DZ, your overlord, Desiran, and welcome to Deathmark. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We have Deathmark. Which, as far as I know, is primarily a visual novel game. But there's some gameplay elements. There's some choices to be made. Hopefully we survive all this. Um, and I'm probably going to need to save fairly frequently. Or at least before big choices happen. Oh my. Other than that, I don't really know what I'm getting into. Except for, I, I think it's literally about being cursed with a death mark. <clears throat> but I guess we'll find out. Selfie, uh, thank you for joining me. How you doing tonight? I hope you're doing well as we hit new game. Okay, here we go. Wait, can you hear that? Hey, want to hit up the karaoke place? The new Love and Hero song is out. Is this supposed to be them talking, or is this just kind of background noise? I'm not sure. I don't know if this has voice acting. Hmm? I'm not feeling up to it today. <clears throat> this story creeped me out earlier. Do you want to hear it? Oh? Sure. Likely just background noise. Yeah, I think so. You remember Miss Yamaguchi? She wears those big glasses. I heard she's gone missing. What? No one knows where she is? Nope. She just disappeared. Just up and poofed from the library. <clears throat> oh. One of the student librarians said she was researching something there. But then she vanished. But she's super diligent, right? One of the students thought it was weird that she'd up and leave like that. So he checked in on her. But when he did... Oh. The only thing left was her arm. Ah. Uh, ha. <clears throat> well, all right then. Uh yeah, so for anyone watching this, uh if you haven't realized already, this is a horror game, so you know, uh, fair warning and all. There were no trigger... There were no warnings at the start of this, so... Eh, okay. It had her really weird scar on it. So it was definitely her arm. Oh, that... That kind of marking in the middle of her... Like, near where it was cut off? A scar? <clears throat> yeah, it looked like a dog bite. She showed it to me once. She had no idea where it came from. Oh no. Is that the death mark? For real? There was a scar like that on Miki's leg, too. Huh? Miki? Wait, that's... 
The girl who went missing, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Maybe that rumor is true. The one about the cursed scar. Cut it out, you're scaring me. Uh oh. <clears throat> I hear snatches of an idiotic ghost story. They're speaking seriously, but it's obvious they don't believe a word. They're only killing time. Rumors are the best way to do that. Well, hello, mister. The sun's about to set. It's gotten later than I planned. I shouldn't have stuck around to hear that story. I better hurry. Whoa. Uh, what's happening? What? 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 <clears throat> Thunder rumbles in the distance. Ah. Uh, a huge mansion is in front of me. Strange. I'm sure I was just... My vision blurs. My ears are buzzing. Ugh, my head's swimming. It's almost like I'm drunk. What time is it? I glance at my wrist, but my watch is gone. <clears throat> Did I put it in my coat pocket? But all I find is a business card. In elegant printed letters is a name. <clears throat> Saya Kujo. Kuju? Spirit Healer. On the back is a photo of the mansion. I guess this must be Kujo Mansion then? Kujo Mansion. Saya Kujo. Kujo? I'm gonna say Kujo. <clears throat> Those names sound familiar somehow. One way to find out. Taking a deep breath, I reach out to knock. I stop when I see something on my wrist. Uh, that's a problem. It's a strange scar. When did that... I could just be imagining this, but... I feel an icy chill when I look at it. Uh... <clears throat> My fist pounds on the door. No reply. A light appears in a second floor window. It's probably too far from the door for them to hear me knocking. <clears throat> I grasp the doorknob and find it unlocked. No point in staying outside. I'll just go in. I'll apologize to the owner later. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. The inside is shrouded in darkness. A small beam of light from the window is the only way I can see anything in here. It's dead silent except for the constant ticking of a clock's second hand. <clears throat> I must be in the entrance hall. The atrium, atrium extends to the second floor. Anyone home? 
There's no reply to my shout. Maybe they've soundproofed this place so they can't hear me down here? I guess I need to go upstairs, then. A staircase is just visible up ahead. I walk toward it, cutting across the hall. What was that? What was that? What? 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 <clears throat> My ears catch a strange noise. I turn to look where it's coming from. Nope, 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 No. Can I save? How do I save? Uh, talk to them. Hello? I call out, but the person remains silent. approach them <clears throat> gulping I hesitantly make my way over trepidation slowing my steps it's a young girl okay wait so it's not a doll it's not a doll she doesn't move an inch as I approach at least it seems that way to me. Oh no. It doesn't look like she's even breathing. <clears throat> A corpse. Great. I creep myself out. I start to sweat. What should I do? Back away or touch her. Ah. Uh... You know what? I'm I'm full of bad choices tonight. So, yeah, we're going to touch her. With a shaky hand, I slowly reach out and touch her skin. I'm not sure what I expected, but it feels unnatural somehow. Okay, it is a doll. Stiff and cold. Uh oh. <clears throat> I press down on her arm and she makes the strange sound I heard earlier. Ah, now it makes sense. She's a doll. Okay, it is a doll. That's actually worse. I would have preferred a corpse. <clears throat> A doll's joints creak when they're moved. That's what made the noise. But who moved it? Pro tag, main character, person we're playing as. Why aren't you thinking, who moved it then? What a relief, if disappointing. Oh, that's all? Okay. <clears throat> I carefully begin climbing the stairs, making sure not to trip. As I reach the landing, the sharp sound of a bell breaks the silence. It seems to be coming from above me. Looking up, 
I can spy the outline of a clock. I bet that's what's making the sound. Uh, Frog should ignore it. Wait. I've approach it. Sure, I guess. Um, the noise guides me over. It's an antique grandfather clock. The noise is definitely coming from here. I reach toward the glass to check inside. All of a sudden, it stops chiming. Silence descends, broken only by ticking. I guess it's fixed now, but... That timing was a little too spot on. Was it really a coincidence? All these strange occurrences make me uneasy, but I continue on to the room with a light. <sighs> okay. Stopping in front of the door, I knock. <clears throat> Let me just... But again, there's no reply. <clears throat> I try again several times, even calling out, but there's still no answer. I push on the door. It's dark inside. Strange. I definitely saw lights on in here when I was outside. Uh-huh. Wafting through the room is an odd smell. <clears throat> it's sugary, like a ripe fruit. The whole room is permeated with it. Oh, God. Some kind of aromatherapy, maybe? It's not a particularly pleasant smell, though. I think you're smelling... I, I think that's the scent of rot. Possibly. The aroma draws me further into the room. The scent of decay... The floor under my feet feels off. It's wet. Oh no. It dawns on me that I'm smelling something else mixed in with the sweet smell. I know this scent. This metallic tang. Oh, you're smelling blood, aren't you? Is it blood? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Lightning flashes and I catch a glimpse of something. The startlingly grotesque object stretches out across the floor beneath my feet. The, the what? I'm sorry, what? Something strange is there. Uh, <laughs> stare at it. Why not? What the hell? Oh! It's so bizarre that I can't stop staring. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Blooming flowers are everywhere. Yeah, it's blood. You're smelling blood. They're bursting out of the woman's stomach, her blood-soaked body overwhelmed with them. Uh, I wrench my gaze away, horrified. But the hellish image is burned into my mind. I can feel my entire body shaking. Bile rises. I'm going to throw up. Oh. Uh. 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 Problem. 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 Uh. <clears throat> oh, Jesus Christ. In the next instant, the lights are on. 
Wait, that's not all. The body's gone, leaving only a stain. Uh, this doesn't make sense. It's a bad dream. At least, I'd really much prefer it if it was. But the faint smell that remains and the bloodstain crush any hope I had of that. <clears throat> I beat a retreat from the room in an effort to escape this whole bizarre situation. Hmm. When I stumble back into the hall, the lights are on in here as well. I decide to have another look around. All the furnishings in here are old enough to be antiques. They match this old-fashioned mansion. Uh, the eyes are open now. Ah, ha, 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 hi. <clears throat> a large doll sits on a couch. This must be the figure I saw in the dark. One would easily mistake this for a human if they couldn't see the ball joints. Probably belongs to the owner of the mansion. Uh-huh. So, what do I do now? Contact the police? Her stomach was full of flowers, sir, and the corpse up and vanished like fog. Like anyone would believe that. Ah. Uh, welcome to Kujo Mansion. Um. Ah. Uh, the doll moved. It spoke. A different kind of shudder runs through me than the one when I found the corpse. <clears throat> Up until this point, I was nothing more than an observer to all these freaky events. I could distance myself from it, but now... A doll is talking to me. Have I startled you? If so, I sincerely apologize. My master ordered me to behave as a normal doll until told otherwise. <clears throat> The words are elegant and refined, but her face never moves an inch. She may look human, but she clearly isn't. Aww. She slowly folds her hands together, so she can move too. I am sorry for not introducing myself. I am called Mary. You have likely seen a number of oddities here already. I see. My master, Sayakujo, was unable to escape from the mark then. Oh. Sayakujo. Does she mean that corpse? But wait, what's this about a mark? <clears throat> Lady Saya was searching for a way to escape the mark. Were you not also called here by her because of the mark on your arm? Uh, ah. She must be talking about this weird scar. Did Saya Kujo invite me to this mansion? When I try to remember, my head hurts. Huh. Hmm. 
<clears throat> I have something to tell you in place of my late master. But I would like to ask one thing first. Do you know your own name? Well, that was a much simpler question than I had been expecting. It's... I break out into a sweat. My throat is drying up. Why... why can't I answer? I'm shocked to find I'm coming up blank. I see. Then it is as I thought. Somehow Mary knows what's going on with me. Before I offer an explanation... Please decide on a temporary name. Things will go much easier if I have a name by which to call you. It is also likely you will find it hard to remain calm if you are nameless. Uh-huh. She's probably right. Better to have some placeholder name than continue life as a hollow, nameless being. Ah. Uh -huh. I see. Enter protagonist's last name. Up to ten letters. Uh, sure. I'll go with the... Yes, is, yes, is Yashiki fine? Yeah. Enter protagonist's first name. Up to ten letters. Kazuo. <clears throat> is Kazuo Yashiki okay? Yeah. That's fine. Appearance selection. Oh! There's actually a... Huh. Uh, I like the glasses. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> I'm Kazuo Yashiki. Understood, Lord Yashiki. Lord? I'm sorry, what? Now, I shall explain to you about the mark. It is the seal of death. Those who have it will soon die. You do not believe me? I'm certain this sounds absurd to one who has led an uneventful life. However, my master's death proves it to be irrefutably true. Ir irrefutably true. Right. The corpse's sweet stench comes back to me. That didn't seem like the work of humans. <clears throat> I am afraid that the horror of the mark does not stop there. Victims slowly lose their memories until the day they, until the day they die. They face death all the while suffering from the terror of losing oneself. Memory loss? That can't be. That'd mean that I'm <coughs> Yes. The fact that you have forgotten your name proves that death is coming. Lord Yashiki, you will die this very dawn. Death Mark. Let me just, let me just do that. There, there, there. Aha. All right, then. My memories skip forward a bit after that. I just remember being completely stunned at what Mary revealed to me. I can probably attribute it to memory loss caused by the mark. The next thing I know, I'm lying in a guest room in the mansion. I vaguely recall dragging myself up the stairs and coming here. I must have fallen asleep at some point, and thanks to that I feel a lot better. <coughs> <clears throat> 
I'll die at dawn, huh? I try saying it out loud. It's definitely shocking, but I can't say it feels real yet. It doesn't make sense. Way out of the blue. But if it's true... Is waiting for my untimely death the only thing I can do? It might be a good idea to ask Mary more about it. <laughs>